Good afternoon. My name is Debbie Repko and I'm the Application and Technical Support Manager at Bootsy Corporation. We are here today to introduce a new poster entitled A Formulation Masterpiece, The Art of Spray Drying. I would like to highlight each portion of the poster, first talking about the history of spray drying. Spray drying is not a new technology. It was invented in the late 1800s, modern day 1920 or 1930, and this brings us to our very modern new spray dryer, which was launched in 2022. Essentially, spray drying is a physical evaporation method and is known as the largest industrial evaporation method. We first have several steps. First, we have atomization. We have our liquid coming to a nozzle and spraying. It's going to hit hot air and solidify over. That's our solvent evaporation. And then we're going to have particle collection. If something is nice and dry, we'll get the powder collecting through to a cyclone to a collection vessel. Spray drying is a particle engineering technology, and that's one of its main benefits. So when we design our formulation, we're going to use different chemistries, different excipients, and not everything is going to have the same morphology. We might have something that's a nice solid particle. We might have something that is more collapsed or something that looks like a raisin. And this all has to do with the heat that is applied or the nature of what you're working with. Spray drying success is a mix of your formulation due diligence and the process parameters we employ. So we have a little table here which talks about how to choose the parameters. Across the top are what I can control on my instrument or my formulation itself, and down the side are the outputs. What are the attributes that I want my particles to have? So we have nice little icons of thermometers, rulers, little droplets, and then collection vessels for our yield. So let's suppose that what was most important to me was particle size. So we're gonna look across to the particle size part of the poster. We're gonna look at the size of the ruler. So the biggest ruler is under spray gas. So if I want the smallest particle possible, I'm gonna turn up my spray gas. The other biggest ruler is my sample concentration. So the higher my formulation concentration, the bigger the particle. To finish up, we're just gonna to touch on the nuances and added benefits of the S300 system. We have updated inert loop and dehumidifier. We have a mobile app for reproducibility. All of the parameters can be seen within our new interface. One really nice new feature is the fact that you can measure the outlet temperature and the product temperature within the collection vessel. And we have a new cyclone that is much easier to take apart and clean and collect our products. In addition, we're saving time with our new auto mode. So at Fuki, we are here to help you master the art of spray drying. To download your own poster, visit our website at fuki.com backslash spray drying.